I think we have to prepare for both both scenarios. I think even when he's on the field there, first of all, if he's not on the field, I think that they, they're still a very good team. They made some really uh, excellent additions uh, in a secondary window. And uh, I mean, obviously that's that's been shown within every match uh, and the way they play and compete. Obviously with uh, with Messi on the pitch, it's, it's uh, it, you know, it's an element to their team and in our game where you have a very good team, but you have a player now that at any moment can, uh, you know, uh, turn the game upside down with one play. So obviously he's, it, it, it's, it's a little bit of a different team. It, it's, a, you know, uh, obviously with him on the pitch, but we have to prepare, you know, both scenarios. If he's on the pitch, if, if he's not on the pitch, uh, I think the, our tactical organization has to cover, we'll, we'll go through a couple different scenarios. And then I think, you know, we, we have confidence. We're playing at home. Uh, we need to, to also be, uh, you know, come out with, 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 with a lot of energy. I think the atmosphere is going to be, be, be great. I think they're all <laughs> uh, fans here from Chicago. They want to come see, obviously, the game and see, see Messi, but also it's an opportunity to showcase uh, our talented players that we have. So we'll cover different scenarios. And, and like you said, obviously, with, with, if he's on the field, it's, it's, it is a different team because you have one player that at any moment you cannot take your eyes off him and, uh, you know, with one play can, can change the outcome of a game, you know. Uh, but they're still a very good team. No, I think Shaq is a player that steps up in big moments and in big, game, big games. I think he relishes opportunities like that where he can, you know, uh, be in pressure moments. I think he's used to, to stepping up in, in pressure moments in all his career. And... Uh, uh, I have all the confidence in, a, uh, in Shaq. Uh, for me, he, he's still a difference maker. Uh, and uh, uh, in every match, I think he provides uh, moments in, in, in his play that can, that can change the game also. Uh, I've always said uh, that we, we need, uh, obviously, other players on the team and a, a very good team performance uh, within every match in order to, you know, to, to, make, to, to, to get the results. But I... I feel Shaq for me in, in, in big moments, he, he, he's always uh, the kind of guy that you can count on. And uh, uh, I know that, that he's going to be ready, uh, you know, to give us something extra on Wednesday uh, as we're, you know, put ourselves in a great spot now. Um, everything is in our hands to, to, to take the next step and uh, one game at a time, but put ourselves in a great spot uh, in order to be there in the playoffs. First of all, with the strikers, I just I, I felt like, you know, I think we, as, as, as coaches and as a staff, we try to find solutions in a game. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I think Kutsi, uh, all players have obviously different characteristics. I think with, with Kutsi, we knew it's a game that we needed energy. We needed someone to, to be able to, to, to stretch the back line, to constantly make runs, because uh, there was a team that in, in transition moments, I think that they really struggled and have given up a lot of goals. So I, I, I felt, you know, he, he you know, was, was someone that w is willing to get behind, is willing to make runs behind the back line. And, uh, and he, he, he came in with excellent energy and obviously a big goal uh, and really a game where, you know, it was almost like a must win on the road. I know a lot of people had counted us out, but I think the, key, the team came and had an excellent performance. We made some some changes uh, that we needed to uh, because we felt you know th going into that game it's what we needed so uh you know and casper look he's he's worked hard you know he's a guy that you know i've had different conversations throughout the year with him um and and you know trying to manage the players and making sure that they stay focused and continue to work hard and uh um and uh once their moment comes and it can come in different you know different times throughout the season to be ready to to step in and perform you know and he did that. He came in, worked extremely hard. Um, and um, so um, they're all ready to go. Um, as far as Guti and, 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 and Rafa, they're all ready to go, uh, which is, uh, which is a, it's a good thing. The, the, the guys that are not still, obviously it's Pineda, Mari, he's still out, and, and Federico Navarro. But they're getting very close. No, I think it's a big moment. I think, you know, when you play international matches we have in the past where you bring Man United here and you fill out the stadium at Soldier Field. And I think those are moments that, as a team, you have to take advantage of. I think they're all Chicago fans, sports fans that might not always come to the games, but then you have an opportunity where they come out, you know, to see probably one of the best players in the world 
but also it's an opportunity now for us to to showcase the the, the, the quality and the young and the players that we have. So it, it is an opportunity uh, uh, for us really to to take advantage of a moment like this and you know and and then get people that maybe come you know in once or twice a year to 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 games games like this where they can just say hey this was really an exciting game this is a great team really exciting team it was an exciting game and uh why not be a you know buy season tickets next year so moments like this that you have to take advantage of that's the one thing uh and then the second thing is again we're fighting for the playoffs um we put ourselves in a great spot uh in a great spot in the sense that everything is in our hands we don't need to you know basically rely on anyone else and uh uh, this was a massive win against the Red Bulls, which just kind of lines up great uh, with Miami coming in. Um, and uh, so we have to look at uh, uh, that situation, also take advantage. And, you know, three points here and a win would put us in a great spot before, you know, uh, our last home game of the season against Charlotte. So a, a lot to play for, for sure. The big moment, big opportunities. And these are the, 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 the moments where you got to grasp and take advantage of as a team. Yeah, our focus is on Wednesday, though, you know, and uh, you're right. I mean, you mentioned, <clears throat> you know, obviously <clears throat> if Messi doesn't play, but still I think another key guy with them is is, is uh, Busquets. Uh, he kind of runs the show for them. Um, uh, and then obviously <clears throat> Martinez is an extremely dangerous player who knows the league really well. Excellent movement. Campania is also a quality player, but also, you know, Farias and, and, and Taylor, they're also two key guys for them. Uh, if Messi doesn't play. So, uh, like I said, you know, earlier, I think, you know, you have almost an analogy, like I can say where, you know, if I go back, because I grew up here in Chicago from a very young age, and if I look at some of, uh, you know, I, I can compare, like, let's just say the Chicago Bulls, you know, when Michael Jordan didn't play, they still had a very good team, but then you had Michael Jordan, and maybe they don't, you know, they win eight in a row. So, I mean, I think, so Miami is... Still a very, very good team with some excellent players, you know, but then you have the icing and the cake that a messy place is the one player that will always give you that, uh, the edge. At any moment, he can make a play and win a game for him, you know? Yeah, two questions. No, like, I mean, I, it, like I said, I think that, you know, I mean, Messi presents obviously a, a, a different challenge, but I think, look, they have other really good players on the team. And if, if any Messi is there, Busquets is still a guy that always, you, you have to rely on some, players to, to get you the ball in the in the right spots and Busquets is a uh, is is is, is uh, one of the best in the world at doing that he was I mean that, that there's a familiarity with him and, and Barcelona and doesn't change here so there's still you know if Messi is playing and Busquets is there of course you have to worry about Messi but there's also before the ball comes to him you know uh, uh, what do you do to address the situations like that so you know we'll, we'll be prepared but in the end of the day it's still about you know our team and believing in and 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 going on the field and playing with confidence and we we have a very good team with very good players so um we, we need to be obviously without the ball uh, our organization has to be very good we have to be disciplined but then we have to have the you know with the ball to have the confidence because we have players also that can that can impact game and win games on their own we have excellent individual players and 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 as a team we've proven that we can beat anyone so we we need to go on the field with that kind of confidence Dumbia, Dumbia, for me, he's always a player that you can rely on. You know, you know what you're gonna get from him uh, within every match. Um, he 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 uh, he's a very dynamic player, a two-way player in this league. He's got an uh, incredible engine to cover a lot of ground. Um, so I'm I'm very pleased uh, with Osmani. He's he, he's he's developing and getting to know the league, and he's performing better and better within every game. Uh, and he really knows our defensive organization. He's a smart player tactically on the pitch, uh, which helps a lot. He's got a lot of experience, but he's just a great guy within the group and the team, and he will do whatever it takes for the success of the team. Yeah, I think it's exciting. I mean, this is what you, you know, I mean, you, you we wish that every game would be, uh, Soldier Field would be, it would be sold out. I mean, that's, that is our goal. I mean, and then it's, We've shown in the past with big uh, games that we brought here, you know, when national teams play, when international uh, friendlies are, are here and, you know, and in the past when we had the All-Star game, I think there's a huge soccer following here. We just got to get them out the game. Um, I think they'll be exciting, uh, obviously, but I think 
for those guys, I think for me, it's, it's you know, putting that, that jersey on and representing the fire, it, it, it's it's something special for him. I mean, all these guys have come, you know, especially not Kutsis, but, but he's a young player, but, but you know, he's been in a European environment and played in, in, in with uh, big matches and big crowds. So, uh, but I think all three, I think these are moments where you have to, like I said earlier, I think opportunities like this come and this is where you got to take advantage of. And all eyes, I think in the league and maybe around the world will be, focusing and watching this game because, you know, obviously with the impact that Messi has had and some of the players, but I think those are moments where I think some of those young players, because they're very, very talented, you know, um, uh, use these opportunities to where they can showcase their ability and talent also, but also within the framework of the team.